Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve the product rule for exponents. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when, when solving the product rule for exponents. The first thing we need to know is that you can multiply exponential terms as long as they have the same base. Now the base in an exponential term is the number or letter that is attached to the exponent. So in the case of like a to the x, the base is going to be the letter a, and then the exponent will be the x. When multiplying exponential terms, you keep the base the same and will add the exponents. Now the product rule is written as a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So you can see what that means is you're going to keep the base, you're going to keep the a the same, so the a stays the same and all of these, and then for the exponents, whatever the exponents are, are going to be added together. So if m is 5 and n is 3, you would do 5 plus 3 for the answer. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem for the product rule for exponents. This problem gives us 8 to the 4th times 8 to the 11th. You can see our base is 8, so that base is going to stay the same. And then our exponents are 4 and 11, and those will be added together. So I can take our base of 8, and I'm going to write it here, and I know the first exponent is 4, and it's going to be added to the second exponent, which is the 11. When we simplify this, we'll keep the base the same, and then we're just going to add 4 plus 11. Well, 4 plus 11 is 15, so our final solution is 8 to the 15th power, because we keep the base the same, and we add the exponents together. Moving on to our second practice problem, this one gives us 7 to the negative third times 7 to the 17th power. This time we're given a negative exponent, but the rule stays the same. We're going to keep the bases, and then we're going to add the exponents. In the case of this problem, our base is 7, so I'm going to keep the 7. Our first exponent is negative 3, and I'm going to add that to our second exponent, which is 17. When I simplify this, I keep the base of 7. And then I'm going to add negative 3 plus 17 is 14. So our final solution for this product rule problem is 7 to the 14th power. Finally, our last practice problem on product rule for exponents gives us x to the negative second, y to the seventh, times x to the fifth, y to the fourth. When we multiply these together, you can only multiply the terms that have the same base. So the bases have to be like terms in order to multiply them together. This means that we can multiply the x's together and we can multiply the y's together. But we can't multiply an x with a y. I'm going to go ahead and write my first base, which is x. And it is to the negative second power. And that's going to go with the other x, which is the fifth power. So we're going to add those together because we are multiplying. That's going to be multiplied times our second base, which is y, and the first exponent is 7, and that gets added to the second exponent, which is 4. Then you simplify. So we keep the base the same, so we're going to keep our x. Our exponents are negative 2 plus 5, which is going to be 3, and that's going to be times y, and that exponent is going to be 7 plus 4, which is 11. So our final solution to this product rule for exponents problem is x to the third y to the 11th because you keep the base the same and you add the exponents. And if you want to download a free practice worksheet or do a free practice quiz, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to, to be taken to the worksheet and quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!